Because where is it? Like, where is it? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl D Dimples. Thank you guys for tuning in today. As you can see, I'm going to be transforming my used wig with this Chinese bang into a side swoop bang, you guys. This is how the hair looking before the process the glue the lace is like all gunky and stuff like that and i haven't washed this wig since last year december so we're gonna wash and clean the lace and then we're gonna get into okay styling. you guys so i have shampooed and conditioned the wig i let the wig sit in the conditioner for like 35 to 40 minutes it has its shine its luster its softness back everything is back you guys so i'm gonna blow dry this unit and then we're gonna get to work okay So this is how the hair looks after I have blow dried it, you guys. There's no gunk, there's no glue on the lace or anything like that. So now we can proceed with the next steps. Let's go. All right, you guys, so um i got everything laid out don't mind my eyes just got out of the shower had to wash my face i still got about but here's the wig you guys the wig with the bang and here she is and we fit get started don't mind my braids and no i don't use caps um i took everything out but the guys to be glue hold on y'all so got to be glue so this is gonna be like real quick real quick y'all these braids like i want to say like two months old so not too much on the braids so what I'm going to do is just slick. My, excuse me. I'm going to slick my edges. My edges down. Slick my edges back. You know what I'm saying? Pull the hair up. I need to do, do a little down. maybe for some that hair easily you know hair that easily you know what I'm saying get pulled out yeah but for me I just slip these things right on down Get them out the way, cause I feel like this is this is protection enough. Like, and I don't use the um the glue, the wig glue. I use the Evans spray, cause I like to take my wigs on and off, or I'll use the Ultra glue. I was before using the um got to be um the clear one in the bottom. I'm gonna show it somewhere on the screen. But that's the one that I was using, like the clear one. I never used the actual glue. Because I was, from my understanding, I think the glue is only for when you want your lace to last. So 
now the lace is on and it's giving very much don't know but yeah we finna make this we finna make it do what it do baby or whatever Jamie Foxx said he really said that for real in the song so um okay I'm lining my front up I like it when it's clean fresh like this it's not sticky no nothing put these clamps on and that's what pulls you know my hair back you know instead of using a cap like once you glue your um edges down you use the cap to like put it on and just you know pull it back these two clamps on the side that's what i use it for so i will be able to put it as you can see be able to put it like right here it it, it once you clamp it like into the braids it accentuates it and it pulls it back i don't know if you guys can tell but that's what's really going on this is me giving in depth to toro roll okay now, oh, I need a ponytail to pull this hair back. This is a lot of hair. Like I said, this is, um, if you watch my previous video, I'm going to leave it somewhere up here in one of the cards. This is a 200 density body weight from Asteria Hair, you guys. I love Asteria Hair. They need to sponsor me already. This is a 13 by 6, 200 density body wave from Asteria Hair. And you guys, I'm going to drop a gem, but I'm going to wait to like towards the end. Or I'm going to just give it to y'all right now because it really don't matter. Um, You guys, if my benefits of keeping, and I had this since last year. I want to say um, last year, December, the beginning of December or ended in November. And it's still the lace, as y'all can see when I washed it in deep condition, it still looks good. It still looks full. And of course, you know, I don't do the plucking. That's what, like, that's what makes my wigs last longer because I don't be plucking at my hair. I feel like that'll give the wig a good month or a month and a half of, you know what I'm saying, being kept up and looking good and stuff like that. Like, I don't, like, I was doing that before, but now I don't even pluck my wigs at all anymore. I just, you know, and they still be giving. I just be, you know, doing, you know, doing what I do, whatever. But yeah, that's what makes my wigs last for me. At least that's what makes it last, like, if you want a seamless hairline, like if you want like like for it to look like real, like your real deal hair, you want a real scalp like hairline, then of course to each its own. I'm just saying like for me, I don't be doing all that extraness because the more you be pl pulling and plucking and tugging at the wig, that's you can like get bald spots and stuff like no. I don't be doing all that. I like for these type of wigs for me to last because I can be very versatile and can do a lot of things with them. Like I'm going to show you guys right now. Because, and it's still going to get, just watch, just watch. Just watch. It's still going to So I'm not gonna use the you I'm not gonna use the gossip glue. I'm gonna use the Evan spray. Okay. Going to do that with my infamous reptile comb. Guys. Okay. And I'm just gonna start on the sides, and I'm gonna start from right to left. Okay, when I 
spray it. I can use my finger if I want to, but I choose not to. I use the back of the rat tail comb and for my sideburn. Literally spray it like that. As me, as you can see, like while I'm dragging it up, I literally like still bring it down some. put my wig on you guys I stretch the lace like I literally stretch the lace you know so it won't be like no humps or anything like that okay I will push it in and I will like stretch it like that just me I'm literally like stretching the lace and just pressing down right guys when I washed the lace I didn't reapply any foundation whatever is left on the lace already is what's going to be kept on there um, but I am gonna go in once I'm done letting it melt and stuff and just you know place the, the um, foundation where it needs to be so as you can see for right now it's laid down So it's laid down, so I'm just gonna go back and you see how it's like not laid down enough because it comes it comes down a little a little farther than what it needs to be. All I do is add that right there. Make sure cut some more. to saturate the glue but also comb it through so it don't look gunky y'all alright you guys so got that pencil in front of my ear 
All right, so it is laid down, you guys. So what I do to further melt this to make it look like scalp. I'm gonna do because the hairstyle that I'm going for like I'm, I'm not gonna need like exaggerated baby hairs and anything like that so what I'm gonna do you guys make sure you don't glue none of this stuff like this was part of the bang you guys already seen it you guys already know that so what I'm gonna do is for the extra extra melt But anyways, um, I know it's itching bad, like, bad. I'm just trying to avoid from scratching it. I'm going to talk it to y'all. I know it's not my nose. This is beginner friendly, you guys. Just take your time. I mean, if you're under, you know, um, pressure or time restraint, you know what I'm saying? So, use this. I'm gonna go in with my band. Make sure my sideburns are out. And y'all, this is just to melt the lace, y'all. That's it. It's just to melt to let melt the lace. And I'll deal with my baby hairs and all that extra stuff a little later. All right, y'all. So. All right, you guys. So now. We're gonna work on the actual style, so I'm gonna put this away. Clean up as you go, you guys. You always have to clean up as you go, especially when you're not eating items. If you have the time, that's only for the ones that be having the time. You, if you don't have the time, trust me, that we all been we all been there before. I almost put my lip on my nose right now. But yeah, we gonna. So it's giving side part because we got a front vein. So let's get this part together y'all and i got a 13 by 6 like i said before so i can go deep with my part y'all shit see i'm gonna take my hot comb and like get that together this is the quickest easiest style i feel like you guys should try this recreate this look y'all i feel like this <clears throat> this style um will um cover see you see where i'm going with this you see, you see where I'm going with this? And just swoop that baby. And just swoop that baby. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I'm going to go as, as deep as I can because I don't want to be like in the middle of my head. So, I'm going to find my, oh my goodness. I'm going to like, I'm going to literally
everything. y'all so yeah this is what it's given for me so that's what it's given so I got my little whoopy whoop get this on out the way so now what I'm gonna focus on is getting the rest of the hair but invest in one because it makes the look it gets your wigs flat it gets your wigs where they need to be you don't want no humpty dumpty wig like you don't want your hair looking like you know you want it laid down I me but be careful y'all for real be careful to not, you know. I cannot see on the side why Do I need glasses or what? Because what are we given? Yeah. Gotta lay that back. Lay that back down. Okay. Lay it the back down. Alright, so it's laid on enough. Enough. Laid enough. So I'm gonna grab the rest of the hair out the way because we need to get the rest of this hair, the rest of this bang part. Where my ponytail. Where my ponytail go that fast? Like it's giving thief. It's giving very much. Where my ponytail? Which listen, which one of y'all done didn't then reach through this phone and, and swipe my ponytail? Cause where is it? Like where is it? So y'all what? Okay. I see you tripping tonight. Okay. Just give me a little. Just me. All right, you guys. So let's do this. I'm gonna take this band off because it's giving me a little headache. I shouldn't have did it so tight. So, the melt. The melt. So, y'all. These hair is already laid, which is perfect. Perfecto. Now I gotta get my baby hair together. Guys, 
some girls use bobby pins use whatever work for you i'm gonna give you an a, a, um a technique mm. I'm going to give you a technique, you guys, for those of you that um, don't got no bobby pins, don't got no nothing. You're going to need... All right, so yes, I found me a rubber band. What you're going to do is, once we sleep, I don't have a wax stick, y'all. I'm sorry. I just got to use what I got to get what I want. So, I'm going to use this clown. Let's put this back. Cause the wax, what the wax stick will do, you guys, it'll really like lay it down. But since we working what we got to get what we want, babes, get that. The hot comb is gonna be y'all friend for real, for real. So just make sure you don't burn yourself, but go through the hair. to be to get your hair where it got to go for me When you try to like get in the in the, in the, cook, the nooks and the crannies and the crevices, y'all, use the comb part on your edge brush to get in the crevices, y'all. Feel me? Get in the crevices, babes. I'm able to move my bang because it's not blow dry down. So I'm still able to move it. All right, and ooh, drop the clip. 
and this is the last right here that's gonna seal the deal tell y'all what to do with that in a minute This right here, nigga, what we doing? Make that box to be. Oh, y'all know the plan. Finish it off, finish it off to get her where she got to be. Yes. We trying to get her where she got to be. For real. I got my little piece in the back where I'm going to put my bang into a ponytail to hold it, to keep it there instead of using the bobby pins right here in this section. You get where I'm going with this, you guys? Um, take your time when you're doing this. Like, you don't have to rush. Don't be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Move too soon, too quick. Let me get over here in this area over here. Get over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of my gel since I molded where I want my, um, not too much y'all, just a little bit. Where I molded where I want my stuff to be at just to get my baby hairs out of the way. Just a little bit. Lay her down and just, you know, y'all know. Y'all already know. So, there we go. Okay. Just gonna soup just to get them out of the way. See? Nothing too crazy, right? So, get over here. Get this together. I'm gonna get this together. I'm gonna use this one because I feel like I can manage it more. Alright, so I'm gonna take now that I got my bang where I want her, I'm gonna take this little piece in the back and then take everything that I didn't place behind my ear to give it a nice little, as you can see, a nice little tug. See, give it a nice little one, two. And just put it in a ring. dealt with y'all get your hair All right. now get the rest of the hair we're gonna deal with the baby hair and we're gonna swoop Oop. I'm gonna lay this down over here I'm gonna 
gonna take the hot comb over here. I should have had a wax stick, y'all. I ain't got no wax stick. I don't know. I'm very simplistic, y'all. I don't do the little. Only if I have like curly hair, I will really, you know, swoop my sideburns down. But you know, I like the little classic look or whatever. So, yeah, y'all. Now I'm going to take this hair piece by piece, you guys, and I'm going to. Okay, you guys, so it is over and done with. Here is the finished look. down below in the comments got rid of the chinese bang hmm. don't ever let nobody tell you what ain't possible and yeah if you made it this far you guys thank you for watching subscribe to my channel like and leave a comment down below follow me on all my social media platforms they are in the description box below you guys and i will see you tomorrow in my next video Bye.